Welcome back live to Sacramento, California. Jay Tuss alongside Boise State Director of Athletics, Jeremiah Dickey. You know, you join us all the time for Bronco Roundup game day during the fall, but Leon Rice and the Boise State men's basketball team just kind of uh, continuing to force you onto the uh, live TV airwaves with us. Um, a few hundred Boise State fans over here to my right. The NCAA tournament's tipped off today. How cool is it to put Boise State's brand on this type of stage, Jeremiah? This is what it's all about. This is all that, that time, effort, and energy in the offseason, the hard work that these players uh, uh, and their commitment to, to representing Boise State. This is this is what it's about. And, and I can't thank the fans. I can't thank Brock Nation, Alumni Association, BAA. Um, it takes a team to do uh, put on cool events like this. You guys have had incredible crowds at Extra Mile. You sold out your ticket allotment at the Mountain West Conference Tournament. Another unbelievable turnout here by Bronco Nation in Sacramento at the NCAA Tournament. Um, I know that Leon Rice wants to push this thing forward. It feels like we are just getting started in year number 13 of the Leon Rice era. I agree. I mean, I think we've barely scratched the surface. You know, I've said it before, and I'm going to continue saying it. It takes a team, and, and with administration aligned with this coaching staff and what Leon wants to do with this program and where we're headed, and you see what recruits are coming in, um, this is just the beginning in my mind, and, and I'm, I'm so excited. Uh, it, this, when you look at, at what it takes to be an elite program and you talk about selling out mm -hmm. our allotments and, and the standard that we've set, this is what it is. And, and I'm grateful because I know next year is going to bring that much more. It's interesting because um, Leon has been here without support. And now he certainly believes that he has the support that he needs. Uh, anytime he gets the opportunity to praise the efforts of the administration, he jumps at that. What is it like for you, Cody Godler, Mike Walsh, the rest of your uh, impressive staff over at Boise State, to hear those compliments from Leon Rice? I think it means everything. You know, uh, this team behind the team is grinding. And, you know, and Leon says it, and, and quite honestly, I probably get way too much credit, Jay. Um, I, I'm so grateful for our team and, and how they show up every day and, and the work that they're doing. And, um, and when, when I first got here, it, it felt alone, right? Mm -hmm. And now all of a sudden, I'm, I'm slowing people down because they are moving this thing forward. And, and that's what you want as a leader. And, and so I can't thank them enough, and I can't thank Coach Rice for recognizing them. I hope you don't get mad at me for this, but uh, Jeremiah lives this stuff. He really does. Right before we came on camera, uh, he said that, you know, feeling a little um, nervous today, I guess, a little anxious. Let's go anxious instead. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what is at stake today for Boise State um, and, and the brand and, and taking on Northwestern out of the Big Ten? You plan the work, you work the plan, and, and this is part of our process, and, and every game matters to us. And, you know, for me, as I look to the future of, of what, you know, uh, what this means to Bronco Nation, uh, yeah, I have, I have some butterflies, but it, it's not a lack of faith in our team. Yeah. You know, they're ready to go, and, and uh, I'm excited. Jeremiah, we appreciate it. I know you got your family here. Yeah. Enjoy today. Could be a historic one for Boise State. Thank you, Jay. I appreciate it. Go Broncos.